Hey guys. All right, so for this week's story, are you ready? Because one of my favorites, it's going to be Little Cloud by Eric Carl. The clouds drifted slowly across the sky. Little Cloud trailed behind. The clouds pushed upward and away. Little Cloud pushed downward and touched the tops of the houses and the trees. The clouds moved out of sight. Little Cloud changed into a giant cloud. Little Cloud changed into a sheep. Sheep and clouds sometimes look alike. How many of you have ever seen sheep in the clouds? I have. Little Cloud changed into an airplane. Little Cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds. Oh no. Little Cloud changed into a shark. Little Cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean. Little Cloud changed into two trees. Little Cloud liked the way trees never moved and stayed in one place. Little Cloud changed into a rabbit. Little Cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Then Little Cloud changed into a hat because Little Cloud changed into a clown and needed a hat. How many of you know that Mr. Catelli really hates clowns? So we gotta change this page. The other clouds drifted back and they huddled closer together. Little Cloud, Little Cloud, they called, come back. Little Cloud drifted towards the clouds. Then all the clouds changed into one big cloud, and it rained. The end. Okay, so the first thing that you guys are going to do, is you're going to do two things. We're going to do a project, but I want you guys to go to a window or go outside, if you're allowed to go outside, and take a look at the sky. And I want you to look at the clouds. Let's see, today we don't have many clouds. We have one kind of in the back over there. I'm gonna go take a look at those outside right now. And what I want you to do is I want you to think of what that cloud looks like. And then we're going to make something that looks just like the cloud that we just saw. Okay, so go ahead. I'm gonna go look outside right now and I want you to do the same. So here is the cloud I found. What do you think it looks like? That's right. A bunny. So I'm going to use a bunny as my subject. All right, I'm going to give you four different ways that you can do this project that you can pick from. So make sure you watch the whole video all the way to the end so that you know which one you could choose. They're all going to start the same way, so make sure you do this part no matter which one you choose. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw down on the bottom of my page what my cloud is floating over. This could be houses, it could be a neighborhood, it could be anything. Once you've got that all finished, you're going to outline it with Sharpie. Next, you're going to take your pencil and lightly sketch out the outline of the cloud shape. Okay, here's your first option. First thing to do is, we're going to color that in. The most important part of coloring this background is getting color on the sky part. That's because your cloud's going to be white. So anything that you're, we're going to now add as the cloud won't show up if that's not a color. It could be any color that you want your sky to be. I'm gonna do blue just because I like blue. 
If you're deciding on this option, I'd like you to go find anything that you can find in your house that is white and fluffy. I collected some tissues, some cotton balls, some paper towels, and a dryer sheet. So now I've already got that outline of my bunny in my sky. You can see it very faintly. And I'm going to take all of these things and kind of tear them apart and bunch them together and glue them down to my paper on top of my sky. Make sure that you arrange them in the same shape that you drew on your sky. I'm gonna add some extra little clouds around, cause why not? Okay, this one's going to require a crayon and some watercolor paint. Watercolor paint is important because otherwise this won't work. So what you're going to do is you're going to sketch out your cloud with a pencil and then you're going to take a white crayon and color it in really hard and then on top of it you're going to paint over with your color sky. And you'll see what happens, what magic happens. Okay, option number three. You're gonna paint your whole sky. You can paint or color your whole sky. Let it dry. And then you're gonna take white paint uh, that is the liquid kind of paint and you're gonna paint on top of your sky to create your shape, your cloud shape. Now this has to be that liquid kind of wet paint Otherwise, this won't work. The white watercolor, even though it's in your pack, I don't think it's going to be uh, strong enough to go on top of the color that's underneath. Okay, and option number four is go probably going to be your easiest one or the one that you would do if you didn't have any of these supplies. Start by sketching out your cloud shape and then you take the color of the sky and you just color around that. You leave the white papers as the cloud shape. You can do this also around the outside with paint or marker or crayons or colored pencils, anything that you have at home. All right, so you've got your four options. I'm excited to see what you guys create. Now, no matter which one of these that you choose from, you need to make sure that you start this off by drawing something that your cloud is going to be floating over underneath your cloud. As always, when you're finished, take a picture and upload it to this assignment on Google Classroom. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Parents, you can get really creative with this one. If you think of something different than these four options, you are absolutely allowed to do that. I've actually done this lesson before with shaving cream. So really have fun with it. Hope you guys have a great day.